sees the end of the trial of the century. Bruno Richard Hauptmann is found guilty by a country jury of eight men and four women of kidnapping the Lindbergh baby. Justice Trenchard sentences Hauptmann to die, and the prisoner, nearly three years after the crime, goes to the Trenton death house. The shadow of the chair is on Hauptmann as he fights on. New Jersey's highest tribunal, the United States Supreme Court have refused to interfere, and Hauptmann's day of doom draws near. Helena, Montana, smashed by earthquakes, one of the year's worst disasters. Over a thousand shocks in three months. Hundreds left homeless, many dead. The plucky city emerges undaunted from the ruins. Drought leaves its mark for 1935. Dust storms bury Kansas and Colorado farms. It lasted, fortunately, only a few weeks. And a prosperous harvest erased the harrowing memories. Forest fire rangers have a busy year. Their biggest job was the $8 million inferno that swept over 100 square miles near Hollywood, Los Angeles. For days it raged, destroying many homes in the Malibu Beach movie colony. The most shocking tragedy of the year, the deaths of Will Rogers and Wiley Post that stunned the world. Off from Seattle went the smiling cowboy humorist, his last goodbye. Like a pair of schoolboys, the two adventurers headed for the north on a holiday trip. And then suddenly, journeys end. 1935 finds the New Deal under heavy fire. But political clamor is still as the president at San Diego speaks for all America. Despite what happens in continents overseas, the United States of America shall and must remain as long ago the father of our country prayed that it might remain unentangled and free. Americans have said that they won't interfere, so we have a free and easy mandate here to take over the entire world and uh, beat them into submission and take away all of their resources. That's what we're after. And so we will take over the world because we are Nazis. Joe Goebbels is the name, advertising is the game. Supported by virtually unopposed aerial bombardment, the conclusion was inevitable. Although resistance was determined, the Yugoslav army was cut up into many small segments and captured. The war in Greece also began on April 6th. There, in spite of fierce and valiant resistance by the Greeks and the British who had come to their aid, the Germans, Overwhelmingly superior in both numbers and equipment, forced their way past the Vistritza River, Mount Olympus, the famous passage, and by the end of April, the swastika flew over the ancient city of Athens. So the girlfriend asked me what I'm into in the army, and I told her gunnery. She said, I had gunnery once, but I didn't get a badge for it. That's funny. That's ridiculous. Want to see a picture of a naked dwarf? So what are your views on recreational prune tang? I like it myself. Lemon, and which before that was called Petrograd in honor of its founder, Peter the Great. A city which today, with the exception of Moscow, is the most important center in the Soviet Union because some of Russia's largest industries are centered here and also because it is Russia's principal port on the Baltic Sea and the base for its Baltic fleet. The second, when the Russian people first learned of the invasion of their country, their grim faces told of their determination to fight and to die, but never to surrender. They knew this wasn't a question of who occupied what piece of land. This was a question of life or death. Oh, my God. 